All right, this one's gonna be on the Gemini protocol. Uh, this one came out like a year or two ago, I believe, and it's been taking off. Some people are, are making like uh, pages for it, and so that's what we're gonna talk about. And we're gonna use it with W3M because I don't really want to use it with any other browser. Anyways, this is uh, my little script here to use web proxies with W3M because you know by default my uh, W3M here it doesn't have any support for Gemini or any of that. Um, so that's why we're using this Gemini script here that I wrote. But basically, it's just gonna uh, check one of these uh, web proxies that they have online, and uh, if it's you know fast and if it's online, then it will use you know this first one here. Else, it'll go to the second one. Everything else fails, it'll use this last one here. All right, and this is how you would set it up. Just follow these uh, steps here: one, two, three, four, five, and then um, after that. We can go to uh, W3M now, and we're gonna actually just type in the uh, what was that URL of the Gemini uh, place that you want to go to. <coughs> but anyways, look at it. This one here is simply news here, and they have like mirrors for some of the popular sites out there, like you know, the Game Informer, right? And they'll strip it out, you know, the um, the text and stuff like that. Now, since we're using a web proxy, sometimes the images don't really work. So look at this. Uh, there's no images here. Let's see if I open it with this. Okay, this one kind of works. Uh, why click on enter the first one here? So images might not be, you know, a thing. Apex, what is this one here? So some of them, you know, might be broken and stuff like that since we're using a web proxies, like I said, but uh, majority of the time it will work. All right. Let's see if this image is on here and it will work here. There you go. I can use uh, Faye here and uh, we can see the images. Uh, so that's pretty much, you know, how you would browse here with this uh, web proxy. Like I said, it has like different sites on here, like the Verge. Um, they do have like a search engine, kind of like Google, and there's some terminologies you might need to know. Um, so Gopher, there was Gopher Space. Uh, you know, www would be like uh, the internet or the web. Um, and in Gemini, it's just called Gopher. Oh, uh, not Gopher. Gemini Space, right? So that's how you would search uh, in here. So let's say if I search for Gemini Space. Uh, aka kind of like Google. Let's search for my name here. And you can see some results. Actually, just one result. Um, let me make this pretty. Let me see here. We'll turn off the hinting mode here. Turn it off. We'll turn off the numbers too. Why not? A line number. There you go. So, this is normally how it works here, right? You have your link here, and we can open this here and see what they uh, blog about or post about. What is it? What do they call blogs in here? I believe they call it uh, gem logs uh, for Gemini here, right? But you know, let's say I search for it again here in Gemini space, which search for something else like Tmux so we can get more results. So this is how it looks like when you're searching uh, gem space, aka kind of like Google, right? And they have like all other people's blogs and stuff like that that has been indexed. So this one is French or something like that. What is this one? And most of these are just plain text. Uh, usually the, you, you have no images and all that. Um, so there you go. That's some of the stuff you can have. What else do they have in here? I have some bookmarks, don't I? I believe I do. No, what up? Bookmarks. So this one here, uh, Gem Paper, we have a listing of uh, some of the popular sites that's been mirrored. So I do have Reddit in here. Let me see. Here. I do have a Reddit in here, right? Gem Hi, Reddit. So if I wanted to go directly to the um, WDM subreddit using a Gemini from a web proxy. All right. So there you go. Look at this here. And you can read some comments. 
obviously you can't post in here or anything like that because it's from a mirror but you can still get the content of you know uh what people post and stuff like that right anywho that's it for that uh other mirrors they have in here is what is that uh, npr cnn so most of those are uh, text only websites that's been mirrored and you can actually you know read it here just plain text for the most part cnn all right look at this read stuff so if you like reading plain text uh oftentimes no images and then you can use this um for you know your um alternative protocol all right now as far as using this um gopher still has like way more content they have like you know more mirrors to sites to actually use like this one there's like no torrent uh gemini capsule yet there's no um uh, adult sites yet uh what i really want this one to have is uh since i'm gonna be using it with uh, my e-ink reader i want it to have like mangas or um comic books or something like that so i can actually read it on the device However, I don't really see them uh, doing that. So if you're looking for just plain text uh, content, there is uh, quite a few on here. Um, and you know, mostly for tech uh, people. I'm not sure about like any other uh, topic that you, you can get on here. But there you go, this thing, look at that. Um, some of these other mirrors on here might not be working because I had tested some of them uh, and it didn't load up, so. You get what you get. Anyways, that is it for this uh, Gemini protocol. I like it. It doesn't have anything I need on it at the moment, but uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting, you know, to see how it develops over the years. I'm not sure if the protocol has been finalized yet. Um, you know, once that is finalized, then uh, maybe more web browsers will support it. Because right now, uh, I don't think any you know, popular GUI web browsers supports it. Uh, any terminal, you know, uh, web browsers um, supports it. Besides like the one that they created, you know, specifically for uh, the Gemini protocol. Like I said, personally, I would never use any of those uh, native Gemini browsers because, you know, it only does one thing. It doesn't do, you know, Gopher. It doesn't do uh, uh, the World Wide Web which my W3M, you know, it's still like the best. So uh, if it doesn't work with W3M, I don't give a shit about it, right? Um, so that's it for uh, the Gemini protocol. And that's how you would set up a web proxy to use it. I think in the future, I'll show you how to do it with your own local proxy because right now we're connecting someone else's server to do this, you know, uh, conversion here. But there's some uh, programs out there that you can actually do it locally. So you don't have to connect to someone else's server to do this. You can use your own, uh, you know, uh, local web proxy to do it. Anywho, uh, that's it for this one. And that's how you were set up with W3M to uh, do all this stuff. All right.